for today's cup of coffee. I'm starting with a question. Is social media a tool of natural selection? Yes. <laughs> That's just how it is, both physically and socially. Because natural selection is going to occur. Yeah. But it can take different forms. It used to be just people doing stupid stuff and getting eaten by bears. Now it's people doing stupid stuff and getting the result is the same. Mm -hmm. And so this one will have a warning. This is what not to do. Is this a what the fuck file? <sighs> Mm, no, this one, because I've got another that is truly a what the fuck file. This one is a question. Okay. And it's, this one is a public service announcement. It's <clears throat> what this one is. All right. For real. Good. And from Daily Mail by Sophie Mann, September the 20th of 2022. Link will be in the description box. The United States Federal Drug Administration has stepped in to warn reckless teens about the latest social media trend, cooking chicken, chicken, chicken in NyQuil. I've never heard of them doing that before. I actually, I, I thought you told me about it. Or no. Maybe I just read about it a couple of days ago or something. No, I never told you about this. I didn't know shit about shit as far <laughs> the as The stupid this. just keeps rolling. It says, the revolting recipe, sometimes referred to as sleepy chicken, gained enough popularity earlier this year that the FDA was prompted... Oh, so prompted, this is for children. Huh? <laughs> They're doing this to make their children go to sleep. No. <laughs> That's well, what they're trying maybe to it's do. a permanent sleep, but anyhow, the FDA was prompted to put out a statement on the chicken specifically, and more broadly, the way parents allow their children to interact with social media. Yeah. Yeah. They rightfully so criticize the fucking people who oh, allow yeah. children on social media 24-7. Right. And it says, according to recent, a recent statement from the FDA, quote, one social media trend relying on peer pressure is online video clips of people misusing non-prescription medications and encouraging viewers to do so. These video challenges, which often target youths, can harm people and even cause death, end quote. No. Really? Some users claim the recipe helps with cold symptoms or falling asleep in the middle of the night. The FDA, however, has a, has taken a strong anti-position on colorful poultry pre uh, preparation method. Uh, the challenge sounds silly and unappetizing, and it is, but it can also be very unsafe. Boiling a medication can make it even more concentrated and change its properties in other ways. Even if you don't eat the chicken, inhaling the medication's vapors while cooking could cause high levels of the drugs to enter your body. It could also hurt your lungs, and that was a statement by FDA. Right. Oh, God help. Simultaneously... The there was a trend called the Benadryl Challenge, which encouraged viewers to trigger hallucinations by taking huge amounts of the antihistamines found in Benadryl, which the FDA issued a warning about. This is why we can't have nice These things. These are just the things to fuck people up. Seriously, <clears throat> now this is natural selection. It's, it's like, it's just public. Because they were going to do this anyway. It's just public now. Yeah. And, and they're encouraging, it's like, my God. It says the Benadryl challenge was recently the cause of a hospitalization of at least three teens and the death of a 15-year-old. And the FDA, the FDA emphasized that these trends, which often target youths, rely on peer pressure and can harm people and even cause death. Cold medications generally have a number of active ingredients, including extra meth uh, methorphan. I actually did practice this before I got on here, and it's just like, I, it always does it. Acetaminophen and antihistamines like doxylam succinate. If an individual con they, they consumes... They make those words just to fuck people up. Well, it's Latin. It actually has to do Who with uses the, Latin anymore? Uh, it's Nobody. very much in the medical profession. Well, they need to stop. It's also in the legal profession. They but need more to stop. so. That, that's, well, why, that's why they don't teach Latin. That's why people get big bucks for knowing Latin. And, and as far as the, you know, chemical 
preparations have different things like anything else they've got. It's sort of like instead of drawing out the uh, benzene ring and everything attached to it, mm. it's the words that say these things. Okay. Dextromethorphan, an opioid commonly found in cough suppressants. I don't know that that's an opioid. Now, I, somebody do a fact check on that, but I do not think it is because over here in the United States, anything that is any kind of an opioid, you have to have a prescription for. Right. So, Daily Mail, who's over there in <clears throat> Britain, you you guys need to, yeah, I, and I should have. Uh, maybe uh, over there they need they have Maybe that. they do, but it's not here in the United States. Uh, it says it's commonly found in cough suppressants. It can result in drowsiness dizziness, seizures, nausea, vomiting, changes in blood pressure, constipation, breathing problems, blurry vision, twitching, palpitations, high fever, hallucinations, brain damage, and coma. Yes, I've been watching these uh, medication advertisements on TV. Too much acetaminophen can damage your liver and lead to liver failure, and too much doxylamine can cause can result in a number of symptoms, including insomnia, night terrors, hallucinations, seizures, and death. And I will tell you this: acetaminophen is Tylenol. Never ever use alcohol while you're taking Tylenol. An expert that I was in a uh, class with that he was teaching the class, he said that's the quickest way to kill your liver. Yeah, he was well, a, an addiction specialist, mm. which was pretty cool. It was a neat lecture. Now, within this, and, and this goes back to my question, is social media nature's way of still culling the herd? Yeah. I mean, it's a horrible thing if it's your people or if you're the one that needs to be called. And think, but think, think, think. Since it is social media, it's spreading out. And the people who see the original video of the dude doing it, it's just going to go out to the whole world mm -hmm. who will see it. And so that way, it, it's still natural selection. It's just a lot quicker at a wider scale. That or is it a matter that adults do hear about it and go, this is remarkably stupid. And that they go and confront the kids and go, have you heard about this shit? This is remarkably stupid and dangerous. Mm hmm Some of them do. And the fact that, I mean, you're 23, so you, you know, legally you're an I adult. Can do what I want. <laughs> you And you're responsible for your actions. Mm hmm I have taught you all that I can as far as to not be a dumbass because the world has its quota. Don't be another one. Because, yes, I really did parent this way. Um, yes. Because I have always been me on this. But the fact that so many parents do not interact with their children and they have no idea what their kids are watching, what they're listening to, who their friends are, anything like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like kids are not snakes. They don't hatch out and then are just able to function on their own. You know, that's just not how it works. And do I think that this is part of these agendas that we've been talking about? Absolutely. Mm. Mom and I were talking about that earlier as far as her generation because she is a boomer, a true one. And um, <clears throat> Dad's a boomer, too. Yeah. And how that the destruction of the family, you know, that it used to be that you had the father and that he had enough, he had a job where he could make enough wages where the mother could stay at home, take care of the children. And then it got to where you had to have both parents working. You had these latch key kids if they were before, as far as school, if you didn't have a family member. Then you had to put them in daycare. Yeah. And mom was telling me that now they're trying to start this program that it's pre pre K. All right. Pre K is four years old. So that means that they're going to be like three. And probably that's to prevent people from having to pay a babysitter. Yeah. And so all this is decline of civilization, of our culture, you know. Right. Which is horrifying. 
the fact that you've got kids that are so bored and I, I don't know how old the TikToker is that did this I, he needs a good sharp swift slap and or kick just for being a dumbass and for encouraging other people to be a dumbass and then the rest of us I'm not the only one that is weary of being punished for other people's bad behavior as everybody knows we have allergies yeah. I always have had allergies and at yeah. one time I could go into you know a drugstore or whatever <clears throat> buy a box a Sudafed pay for it go on my merry way mm. and then all that stopped because you had people that were using it to make meth or do some stupid shit with it right and so to a degree was that stopping natural selection we don't know but it's like now I have to, as far as driver's license, have to sign two or three things, which goes to the state police and all this stuff. Does the state police really need to know that I have allergies or what I'm going to do with the box of Sudafed? I mean... Anybody could look at me and go, damn, she is not a meth head. All of it is to prevent natural selection so they can make more money. <laughs> right. Well, and, it, and it's just, you know, are they going to start? Somebody on, on the video there on the link had said, it's like, okay, are we now going to have to sign for uh, cold medicines? Probably, because of <clears throat> one jackass. And it, the, how many of these does it take? It's like, as far as the eating of the Tide Pods, but from what I understand, that, that, started, that started out as a joke. It started out as a joke. And then d people were dumb enough. Yes. Actually, it wasn't that they were dumb enough. Well, partially. They did it specifically for views. Well, I don't know. I, it because seems... a lot of people will do it, even if it's at their own detriment, do shit for views. That's just insane. And as far as parents, parents, if you've got small children in the home, for God's sake, have some sense. There are things, do not put that stuff within the reach of a child. Yeah. And never assume that a child cannot get a step stool or a, you know, a chair or something like that and shimmy up that. Right. So you got to be responsible with that. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know. I think I don't know what the hell's happened with y'all. Like I said, my parents could go, "Hey, you see that? They'll kill you. Don't mess with it." Okay, y'all. Seriously, y you? How I dare? Tried to tell how you dare? I, I tried to teach. Well, you've lived twenty three years, so I've done something correct. Uh, yeah. But awesome. let's see. There was the Tide Pod idiocy. What was the one that was after that? I know that they were that spoonful of cinnamon shit. Cinnamon challenge, yeah. And then Glozell did the thing. That was just Glozell insane. Glozell did her thing and got millions of views because she used a full ladle of cinnamon. Now, did that make the world a better place, really? Hell no, but it gave everybody a good laugh. But, um... What was the other one? There was there was one between those. I can't because there's so many. I can't keep up with it. And when they were doing the what was it? The ice water challenge was that ice bucket challenge? Right, and that was to help people understand what that was. It Lou Gehrig's disease or whatever ASL. it was. That does it affect their nervous system where they feel cold? Is that what it yeah, is? But yeah. Because I have they I didn't like research it today. Whatever it was. And there was one man that I saw, because we do have some mentally ill people in the world. And I'm not saying to stop doing the ice bucket challenge. But I actually saw a video of this man pouring boiling water over himself. Yeah, we all saw that too. And we're like, you're fucking stupid. You deserve those third degree burns. Well, you know, and it's like it was the man. I had mental illness demonic possession you, you gotta he wonder just dumb, he got a heavy case of the dumbass <laughs> oh don't be blaming no demons on them that's I, just a dumbass again is it 
a tool of natural selection. Yes. The answer is yes. I mean, you can hurt yourself with a marshmallow. For real. Only if you choke on it. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. And this is why we have warning labels on certain products. I want that marshmallow gun. I can shoot people with a marshmallow. So, but anyhow, if again, if you have even teenagers, oh my God, sometimes you've got to monitor the teens more than you do the little ones. Because that's when you get into that frontal lobe shrinkage and the ability to have rational thought is compromised. They are legitimately brain damaged for a period of time. That if I do this, this can happen. That mm -mm, There's a disconnect during those years. Which yeah. is why that they will do remarkably stupid stuff. And then adults are going, did you not know that was remarkably stupid? And they're like, no. And they're being honest. So... Find out what your people are watching, you, these kids are watching. If you know somebody that would dare do something like this, it, then you might want to distance yourself, you know, because natural selection, it's, you never know how it's going to hit or when it's going to hit. Right. But it's going to hit and kick your ass. Seventh grade science class. Chemicals, when you heat them, it changes the properties. Mm-hmm. You know, we weren't, well, I'm trying to think in seventh grade, I don't think we were dealing with hydrochloric acid, but now we may have been. Because, you know, you have these things, they're called hoods, and it's a vacuum thing that if you've got something that has any kind of odor or whatever, mm -hmm. that it, you know, it's a fan that it draws those odors and stuff, the, whatever the chemicals are up in there. Right. Do they not... I don't know if they don't do science experiments anymore. I don't know if they don't explain to kids. I, I don't even know if some of them have the ability to read a warning label. Most people just don't read flat out. It's not that they don't have, they lack the ability to, it's that they don't. It's like anytime you've got a medication, read those inserts. Read them. <laughs> Nobody reads them. I read them. I do. I read the Most inserts. Most people do not read them. <laughs> I discuss things with my pharmacist. Most people don't do that. <laughs> Most people don't question shit about shit. Always question. Always question. And even as far as somebody has answers, to find out how they know what they think they know. But for God's sake, do not cook chicken or anything else in NyQuil. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to no. not do that. No. To misuse any kind of medication. You could be the dumbest of the dumb. Those people there, suicidal. I, I mean... I the, bet, yeah. The thing is, <laughs> that or they're just trying to see how gullible people are. But it literally... It's mostly to see how gullible people are and it's just anything for that taste of what is known as clout. Um, to sit there, how, how much clout is it to say, I did something and somebody got hurt? Have you not seen the period ad? Period, uh, girl. No. From TikTok. Are you kidding? You I, I told like you I about that literally know, yesterday. But it's like, I, like I watch TikTok. Mm-hmm. No, I have better things to do with my time. I do. But it's just... To have the notoriety for being stupid. And it's not like... Every town used to have a village idiot. You know, the king's court or whoever. They had the jester and stuff. But the jesters were not stupid. They weren't. <clears throat> Well, gee, if they were worth the royal family, I would assume that they would be smart. Well, I mean, they that's how they got by with a with speaking a lot of truths in a humorous way. Mm -hmm. But now the the village idiots, you know, there's a lot of idiots. They're just looking for a village. Mm-hmm. The majority of the population 
it, it just it's frightening and it astounds me it truly does and yeah so watch your children's watch your grandchildren's whoever it is if you have younger siblings if you under the age of 16 you ain't even supposed to be on this channel because we talk about some disturbing things from time to time yeah <clears throat> yeah no minors allowed right yeah and it's like even on that parents pay attention to what your kids are watching on youtube or on bit shoot or on odyssey or on rumble or whoever if you're going to get them to watch stuff on the internet put up a playlist that they cannot exit out of that work huh that would work yeah and i mean there are some we've had uh People that like, had kids that watched us, and but they were, you know, even as far as our language, they know how we are. If they're just browsing on, like, even the YouTube Kids app, they can see shit that they absolutely are not supposed to. Well, now, that's YouTube's fault, and then they bitching on everybody else. Mm -hmm. That's where everybody bitches at YouTube, but YouTube doesn't seem to care. Right. Well, now, we, we did have, um, I don't know if he's still with us or not, but he had kids, they weren't, like, little I mean, they were like tween ages and stuff like that. Right. And our vocabulary, which is salty, you know, it's just how we speak. It honestly is. And he didn't have a problem with it. And he monitored the kids because as far as the rest of the content was, you know, we'd be educational and shit. Like I said, this is a public service announcement. Oh... And, and a call to prayer, God help us all, because this is the, this is the generation that's coming up. Mm, maybe, and maybe not. <laughs> oh, God. Generation Alpha, we're doomed. I don't They're know that you're going to make blood. it to that. I, I don't know. Are they out for blood? What They're kind of blood? Out for blood. I, I don't, you'll have to explain to me it's later on that. The attitude on some of them, on the majority of those children, the audacity Oh, God. I don't need... I, it's all right. I'm older. I'll die off. I don't have to worry about it no more. So, it's... <laughs> Gen X, we need to unite. We really do. Give each other strength and courage. <laughs> so, if you've had experiences with the paranormal, supernatural encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, <sighs> recent stupids, oh, God... Yeah, send us an email, cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com. Link again will be in the description box and for the email address. Yeah. Know that you're loved. Don't mm -hmm. be one of the stupids. Depends on what kind of stupid. Yeah. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and most of all, subscribe and click that notification button for daily notifications of our daily uploads. Thank you all. Have a good and we will see you all on the next one. Bye. Bye.